Good morning guys, it is Tuesday the 20th of March 2018, it has just gone 8 o'clock in the morning, I feel like shite, I have another mountain growing on my face, I frigging hurts as well, really bad blood, a stonkingly bad headache, just says it's because I'm dehydrating, she could be right, I mean I did hate I did eat a whole bag of salted cashew nuts before I went to bed last night. Yeah, that's great for my diet, isn't it? So, uh, got up about oh, 10 to 8, came down, had myself a coffee, fed to find the yam, you might be able to see a silhouette there in the curtain. She will now sit there with the sun basking on her. Because it is quite a nice day, it's freezing, but it's, it's, it's nice, the sun is out, and that's why she's behind the curtain, because she'll sit there with the sun basking on that, and she'll be giving the birds a load of abuse, basically. So anyway, any thoughts on what we can call this? It literally appeared overnight, and as I said, it really, really throbs. Hmm, joys of my life. Well, as you might have gathered, um, I'm doing a spend the day with me video. Another thrilling, fun pack day with some guys. Are you looking forward to it? Well, I bet you are. Not exactly got much planned, guys, and unfortunately I can't take you with me later when I do go out because I don't have that kind of camera and I can't use my phone to be called with because it's... It's shite, my phone is. It's shite. I hate it. I need a new one. But most of all, I need a new recording camera than anything. So. So, I'm just going to have some coffee and try and wake myself up a little bit more because I didn't have a very good night's sleep. I woke up in the middle of the night with cramp. You now I couldn't go back to sleep. And then I was concerned that the cat was cold, so I found a little blanket out for her, put it over. She comes to bed with me, you see, every night. She likes sleeps with me because Jess isn't here on the night. She um she stops over at her friends. Mm, friends my ass, boyfriend more than likely. So yeah, she stays out overnight. So it's just me and the cat in the house. So she comes to bed with me every night and we sleep together, together and because it's gone back to being bloody cold on the lights I was just all like oh god she warm put this blanket over there oh she warm and then I must have just nodded back off and then woke up feeling like poo just under 10 minutes and then just be off to work see that's what she does she stays out overnight and then she comes back at half past seven in the morning Obviously, when she gets dropped off, and then whoever it is goes to work, and she comes home, and if she's not working, she'll jump back into bed. But if she's at work, then obviously, she has to get ready for work, to go to work, and then I don't see her all day. Um, yeah. It can be lonely sometimes. You know, once upon a time, this house was full of four people, and obviously, I kind of don't live here anymore, and... Dickhead's gone, but it won't be long before Jess moves out either. And it really will be me and the cat. I've been trying to work out lately how old my cat is, and I think, I think she's about 10 or 11. So I got a little bit upset on Sunday night, and it dawned on me I haven't got her for much longer, so I was crying my eyes and saying to her, like, don't you leave me, don't you leave me, you live to a really, really old age, I will look after you. Honestly, I, I don't know what I'd do without like that big boil fluff. Because now I've had a breakfast. She'll probably go and have a dump. Stink the house out. Then crow, go and crush and Jessica's bed and sleep there all day. Yep, my cat has a fun packed life too. Anyway guys, I'm going to drink my coffee. And try and wake up a little bit more. Because as you, as you can probably just see, I'm as groggy as hell. Anybody think I was out on the town last night getting mashed? That's how I feel. I feel rough. Back's killing me this morning, so I'm going to have to take some bacon. Is only one from that. I don't like this old getting old malarkey. Just don't. 
Right, coffee, drink, be back soon. Where have the cashews gone? I'm going to buy it with back it today to replace them. Next, what's it? It is banana, kiwi. You can't taste kiwi because I've tested it. Quick. Papaya. Yeah. And a bit of yogurt. And that's it. Water. It's not. You tried it and it was not. Yeah. Oh, it's like she is such a grumpy sausage in the mornings. She really is. But it is true. I don't understand her being a bit angry at me for eating the nuts. But I will buy a room of a bag later. I will. Um <clears throat> no, she's going to work. What is she doing? That cat baffles me. Right, so it's now quarter past nine in the morning. The rack, as you can hear in the background, is the washing machine. Uh, I need to do some washing because my towel pile, my dirty towel pile, shall we say, it's growing dramatically, so I need to get some towels washed and, yeah. So, um, I'm not going to sit down and have my breakfast, I'm going to smoothie this morning. Consists of, in case you're interested, kiwi, banana, pa papaya, peach and passion fruit yoghurt drink and water. And... It's very fruity. You can taste the kiwi coming through. Made one for my daughter as well to taste to work. I hope she enjoys it. But um, I just fancied something nice, refreshing from breakfast. See if it rehydrates me after that big bag of peanut. Well, not after that big bag of cashew nuts last night. I've just put some spot stuff on that bloody thing. Looks like it's producing this size. All I know is I'm going to have to put a shed load of makeup on to cover it up. That's for sure. So, anyway, um, I'm now going to have me smoothie. I'm also going to do some job searching, which you really don't want to see me doing. And I will be back in a bit. Right, it's currently 20 past 10 in the morning and as you can see I'm still sat in my pyjamas. Uh, I've just spent the last hour and so doing the, the job search um, because I'm claiming benefits, uh, especially with it being universal credit, you, you have to do 35 hours of job seeking every single week. So that's like five hours a day. It's not easy because, um, I mean... <sighs> Especially as what I've come across today and yesterday. If there's a lack of new jobs, what, what are you meant to apply for? I mean, I am furthering out my reach of looking for work. You know, I'm looking in Worcester, I'm looking up in Birmingham. I'm looking at areas that I can get to either via the bus or the train. But if there's no jobs out there in the first place, what are you meant to do? Ugh. So I mean, I've applied for a couple of things this morning, but it's a case of will I even hear back from them? Do these jobs even exist? Because I've noticed that as well a couple of times. Like, for example, I I saw a job being advertised by an agency that I'm registered with. And they called me up and said, oh, we've seen you applied for this job. And then it turns out that job doesn't actually exist, but they might be able to find you something more suitable for you. That's annoying. I don't like it when agencies do that. I don't. So, um, washing machine's now finished. I'm going to go and get dressed and do something about covering up this bloody thing. I swear it's getting redder. Oh, I look disgusting. I look like I've got some kind of disease. My bloody hormones. I hate them. So, yeah, 
I'm going to go and get some clothes on, slap some makeup on, because obviously I need to make myself look presentable, because I've got to go to the job centre later. And so, I mean, some of my friends have said to me, why did you get dressed up so much? You go into the job centre. And they're right. And some of the people that I've seen in there, I look at them and I think, really? Did you actually get dressed today? No, it's the usual scrape back buns, tracksuit bottoms, no effort made whatsoever. And then it's the realisation of, well, do you understand why you might not be getting considered for work? Why people don't take you serious? I don't like being hypocritical, you know, not hypocritical. I don't, I don't like to be prejudiced and I don't like looking down my nose at others, but I do sometimes think, sort your shit out, people. Come on, make yourself look half decent. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. Um, I even straightened my hair last night. Quite surprised it stayed straight, which is good. And um, yeah, I'll see you shortly anyway, guys, and I'll look more human vibe. Okay, so as you can see, one is now dressed and I've got slap on the face and I've done everything I can to conceal that freaking monster on my face. Uh, well, at least I look a little bit more human vibe. And today, I have gone for a nice red look to brighten up me, I guess. Just going to step back so you can see more of what it is that I'm wearing on the feet. I'm wearing my nice, lovely Chloe Duke boots from Primark. The ones that me and Jess found in Birmingham for three quid. Love these. Uh, my, boot, my jeans I got from Asta's George range. Uh, fit me very nicely. Don't do anything about to hide in the bloody tummy area. I'm wearing my new belt I bought from Primark last week. Underneath I've got a grey t-shirt on. It's got like detailing there. Bought it from Primark sometime last year. I basically just put it on underneath to keep me a little bit warm. And then I've got this gorgeous red jumper that was originally Jessica's and she actually gave it to me to go for my boots because she never wears it. And she thought it would suit me better. Makeup, which is quite, well, I won't say basic shades, but I've gone bits like bronzy browns for the eyeshadow. And a nice red lipstick for the lips. Gone for an orangey kind of brownie blush I've got as well for my cheeks with a little bit of highlight, which you should be able to pick up there. And I've just realised I haven't put any earrings in, so I'm just going to go back upstairs and pop some in. Otherwise, I just I just don't feel right with unless I've got earrings in my ears. Um, but I have, as usual, got my piercing in up there. And this time I'm wearing my multi-coloured one probably ain't picking it up but earrings needs now right i've gone with these little red fake ruby studs here because i'm wearing my hair down today and because this neck jumper is quite high necked i didn't want anything too long because it just it doesn't look right it doesn't so that's it, I'm now dressed. I will now be running around the house doing a bit of housework. And as well as that, I've got a few other jobs that I've come across that I would like to apply for. So I'm going to fill those applications in online. And then I will be back because it's getting close to lunchtime, guys, and my tummy's getting hungry. All right, one of the things I needed to get uploaded on to YouTube today. And I've just done it so you should be able to go and watch it. Not that you're going to know this until you watch this tomorrow, which will be Wednesday. Um, I did my makeup tutorial using the Tanya Burr Makeup Cosmetics that I bought from Superdrug. I did my best to use all of the products that I used. I can quite honestly say I'd like to give myself a pat on the back in regards to using that liquid eyeliner, but I can't wait, so I'm not going to bother. But I, I am quite impressed with it. Or should I say, more impressed with myself for actually being able to use it and not mess it up. So, in case you haven't watched it, 
I'm going to go and watch it after this. Just having a quick coffee and um, to finish applying for these jobs that I said I was going to do. And then I will be having my lunch and I will show you what I'm having when I come back. So here we go, guys, is my lunch. It's nearly one o'clock, so I best sit down and get this in my tummy, especially as I'm meant to be leaving the house at two o'clock to get to the job centre for half past two. Okay, what have I got for my lunch today? I've got iceberg lettuce, which has been shredded, cucumber, baby tomatoes, the white of a hard boiled egg because the, the yolk didn't look too clever. I think it might be time to chuck them in the bins. I did actually boil them last week. What else have I got? Avocado, good fat, yum, and mango and coconut marinated chicken breast kebabs obviously i've taken them off the sticks so they're no longer kebabs and i've cut them up into chunks and then a little bit of mayonnaise over the top some salt and pepper and oh lovely and this all consists of 257 calories so nice healthy lunch and yeah I, i'm not going to eat this i'm not going to record me eating it because you don't need to see me eating and I literally am going to throw this down my neck now. Because after I've had my lunch, I've got to wash up the kitchen stuff. And then, like I said, I've got to get going at 2 o'clock. Fortunately, I won't be able to take you guys with me. But I will see you when I get back. Hey, guys, I'm back from town. It's now quarter past four in the afternoon. I didn't mean to be out for this long. I'm sorry about the lights in the background. It's the sun coming through well sort of it's because i've opened up the curtains so it's light coming through so let me just that's better now you can see me a little bit better yeah um obviously i had to be at the job center for half past two got the piece of piss no problemo and um yeah it was it was just um basically catching up with tracy letting her know what I've been doing in regards to my job searching and uh, I've got to go to another job fair next week this one's going to be actually at the job centre and the library that's underneath it and Tracy said it won't be anywhere as big as it was well the one I went to last time but I'm already aware of the fact that where my daughter works they're going to be there and there's a possibility Jess will be there representing the care home so if push comes to shove at least i've got someone i can go and talk to and pretend i'm talking to someone in regards to a job but i have to go to that i'm not exactly sure when that is i think it's tuesday or wednesday and i've opted to go about half past 11 in the morning and uh, that's it i don't have to go and see tracy now until well, not next week the week after it looks like it's going to be fortnightly which is nice because i've been having to go in regards to the job seekers every week so at least now it gives me a bit of a break but yeah i love seeing tracy we always have a good old gossip good old chat we like talking about normal day-to-day -day things like she knows i have an addiction to clothes and boots and stuff like that and it's just nice to have a proper friendly person to chat to so that was done and dusted then i popped into town i went into the high street first went into powerland popped into superdrug and then i went into asda after that before i came home now normally i would do separate shopping hauls in regards to that but i'm not going to this week in fact i'm going to show you in a minute what I've bought whilst in town because I want to do my weekly as the haul towards the end of the week and if I do get anything else from anywhere else then I can obviously do another separate haul in regards to that stuff but today I'm going to show you in a minute what I bought but first I'm going to make myself a cup of tea because I literally just got back in through the front door and, and, and I'm parched oh that's better. Instead, I'm using my 
Who is where the tea brews cup? My cup of the day. I feel so bad doing that because that's Kate McCabe saying and I don't want to steal it from her. But mug of the day, that, okay? So now I'm going to show you what I bought while I was in town. And I think we're going to begin with what I got from Asda because the stuff in there that I need to get into the fridge and the freezer. Uh, this bag is heaving. It weighs a freaking ton. I don't know how I managed to carry that back. I don't. I really don't. I spent the total of £19.59 in there. I was only meant to go. I, I'd actually wrote myself a little shopping list to take with me into town. I knew exactly what I needed to get. But obviously, knowing me, I bought other stuff that I wasn't meant to get. Because I can't help myself, can I? <clears throat> I picked up these vegetable pecoras. They were £1.30. I plan to do me and Jess a curry on Thursday. And I fancied some pecoras to go with it. What can I say? The fried onion, carrots, cauliflower and spinach flavoured with spices. So they should be tasty. I also picked up a bag of Walker Sensation Papa Doms in lime and coriander chutney flavour. These are also to go with the curry on Thursday and these cost a pound. I had to climb to get these because I could see them in the box but they were right at the back of the shelf at the top, very top shelf. Um, so yeah, I had to Get me spider woman out of me and clamber up to get it. Got them first, so sorted. Picked up some more snacker jacks. These are the chocolate chip ones. I have actually grown to like these quite a lot. When I first bought them, the very first time I bought these, I was like, ooh. ooh. They have actually grown on me. And once again, they're only a pound. So definitely worth getting as a healthy snack. Needed some more mayonnaise, so I've picked this one up. It's Asda's own light mayonnaise. It was 67p. Jasmine needed some more cat biscuits. Now normally I'd get the much smaller packets of these, and I usually have them in Asda for a pound. I didn't have enough. They've gone back to normal price of 150. And because I dreamed these were only two quid. I couldn't justify paying £1.50 for a smaller packet when I could have these for an extra 50p. So that is my jasmine salty bud. Kitty catty cut. Catty cutty meow meow biscuits. And these are the Go Cat crunchy and tender ones in beef with chicken. Because these are the only ones that she will eat. Always, as always when I'm in Asda, I love to look in the reduced areas. And um, whilst I was having a mooch in the fresh food reduced area, I came across this lively firecracker chicken curry with fragrant rice. It was originally £2.80, they reduced it to £2.16, and then I reduced it further to £1.51. I thought Jess might appreciate this for lunch one day at work, so it's mainly for her. I'm doing chili con carne for our dinner tomorrow night and I need to get some more onions so got some onions and these are just a free pack of normal white onions and these were 50 pence as well as cat biscuits jasmine ordered me did some cat food as well for the last couple of weeks i've been getting the cat food from my local cult which is literally a three minute walk from my house and I've been getting uh, the nice cat food that I normally like to buy. And it's been costing me £4.99. Now, me and her, we've had to have words. And I've had to explain to her that mummy cannot always afford to spend new enough a fiver on her kitty catty food. So, I've picked her up this box of cat food. It's from Felix. It's a mixed selection of cat food in jelly. Got tuna, chicken, salmon and trout and beef. I know that she likes this cat food, so she'll be more than happy with it. And it was £3. 
I have fallen in love with those Gray's Superfood Bites I get for £2.50. So I've picked another lot up. And, it, and yeah, they are expensive and you only get four of them. But they're so good, so nice, so tasty and healthy at the same bloody time. And this time I've picked up the Raspberry Oat Squares with Chia. So... I haven't tried these yet so I'm not sure what they'll be like. I'm sure they will be nice though. And um yeah, I mean it's a source of energy releasing manganese, tasty source of fibre made of old grain oats and super cheer. And we all know that chia seeds are incredibly good for you. They are because they're really filling. So also from so I have to shake it back into place. Um the the reduced fresh food area. Oh god. Oh my while I was stood there. There was this woman. You know, I'm not a clean freak. I am not Miss Perfect and I don't have OCD, but I cannot understand to the love of me how people can tolerate walking around smelling. There was this woman and she went old. I say she was in the early fifties at the most. And, uh, oh, God, she stunk. She really badly stunk. It, she stunk that much. I was nearly vomiting. There was a, another lady as well, and she was nearly vomiting. Ugh. Just, ugh. Don't understand people can do this. Go home and have a wash, will ya? By the way, I wish I was able to get to this without throwing it up. I picked up this ready-made... Meal is chicken with almond mushrooms, originally 365, they've reduced it to 274 and then reduced it further to £1.92. It's going to, get to have to go straight in the freezer because obviously we're not going to have it tonight. Well, I just thought another meal for me and Jess sorted. I need to get some more natural yoghurt for our smoothies when I like to make them for our breakfast in the morning. So I've picked this one up. This is as the smart price low fat for natural yoghurt for 45p. I tend to always get this one. No others, but this is the one I like to pick up because as far as I'm concerned, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Basically, nothing at all. And as well as that, in regards to yoghurts, I bought two more of the large pots of yoghurts that you can get for £2. It's an offer that I do in Asda, two for two pounds. So this time I've bought the Year Valley Greek style coconut yogurt. Freaking creamy. Bought one of these last week and it's so freaking tasty. So tasty. And I've also picked up their blueberry with a hint of lime yogurt as well. Never tried this one, so looking forward to doing so. And the final thing that I picked up from Asda was a bag of chips. These were a pound. I didn't really need to get them today. I could have waited until Thursday when I've got more money to do so. Or I could have just bought them next week. Because originally Wednesday, which is tomorrow, we were meant to be having a burger and chips for dinner. But instead, because I just went out Saturday night, so I made myself a pasta sauce and had the rest of my meat-free meatballs and some pasta for my dinner. I opened up the pasta sauce because I always make my own pasta sauce. So, I mean, I didn't use a great deal of it, but there was still a, a carton of pasta sauce that needs to be used up. So, I was like, do chili con carne instead. You've got your minced meat, you've got the pasta ready to rock and roll, you've got your chili con carne mix in the cupboard, you've got rice. Get some onions, there you go, do chili instead. So that's what we're going to have. And we've still got some garlic bread that we're going to have with that as well. So, like I said, I didn't really need to get them, but I did. So, I need to get these in the freezer now. Right, I can now, if you can see me, move on to show you what I picked up from Poundland and from Superdrug as well. Here's the bag in question, it's my little panda one. And I'm just gonna grab in and pull out. Ugh. Whatever, I'll get my hands on. I need some more toilet roll. 
So I've got my good old trusty toilet roll from Poundland. These are the quantum quilts. These are a bloody good buy. Obviously you get four of them. Last a good couple of weeks. Toilet roll. I was on the Poundland appreciation page this morning on Facebook and I saw somebody featuring these in one of their Poundland hauls. And I was like, well, I didn't see those ones on Saturday. You know, I bought those cushions to go there. I've picked up some more. And these ones are going to go in the living room. Not quite sure yet where, but they're going in the living room. And they're both the same. So I don't really need to show you both of them. But these, I've got feathers on them. And they're nice and plump. There's nothing wrong with these ones. And just a soft and cosy filled cushions, which is exactly what they are. And they're going to go in the living room. What can I say? Need to get some more batteries. So I've got some. These are just the Kodak heavy duty batteries. You get 11 of them. And uh, double A ones. And yay, batteries. Oh, now these aren't from Poundland and they're not from Superdog. Actually, I bought these from Master and stuff. I must have chucked them in there. I don't know. That's weird. But anyway. <sighs> Me being a naughty mum. Mm -hmm. Jess had bought herself some nuts a couple of weeks ago. And I've just been sat there in the cupboard doing nothing. And I was feeling a little bit peckish last night. And I love cashew nuts. I do. I really do. So I can't like at the old bag to myself. And then I wondered why I woke up this morning being more dehydrated. Well, just to put a smile back in the face and to return the favour, I bought a, a packet to replace them. Now these are the smart price ones. And that's what she bought anyway, so she can't grumble too much. And these were, let me just check the 75p. So I'm now going to put them back in the cupboard and she can't grumble at me, can she? Need to get some more mouthwash. I really should buy a much larger bottle because we get through like mouthwash like you would not believe in this house. This time I've picked up the Listerine Spearmint one. I like Listerine mouthwash. I just do. It's the one I prefer to get. So got some more of that one. I needed to get some more deodorant, so I picked up this one because it's 33% extra free. Soft and gentle 48 hour protection and perspiration deodorant in cotton fresh. This was the only scent that they had. This is how crap our Poundland is in Bromsgrove. They need to sort their shit out. They really do. And the last thing that I picked up in Poundland, and I really shouldn't have done, especially I was telling myself off last night about filling my face on chocolates bad chocolates. I grabbed another box. Oh, I look upside down. I grabbed another box of these walnut whips. Somebody just kill me now, please. But I couldn't stop myself from doing it. But it's not like I eat hordes of chocolate every day. I mean, that's what I was saying about trying to lose weight. Uh, you know, not understanding why I'm not losing weight. I mean, I probably one of the main reasons is because I don't exercise nowhere near as much as I used to. But I was going on about that um, program I've been watching. And I can't compare myself to those people because they are eating things to the extreme. And it's every single day. And I'm not doing that. I mean, I'll have one of those on the night and... If I was eating the whole box in one go, understandable, but I'm not. So this is just going to be my little treat, simple as that. So don't tell me off too much for that, guys. So that's everything I got from Poundland, and I spent the total of £7 in there. Now, I popped into Superdrug, and the main reason why I went into Superdrug, and I don't know if you've watched my makeup tutorial that I did using the Tanya Burr cosmetics I've been buying recently. Well, I did mention in that makeup tutorial that I was so impressed with the lipsticks that I wish I'd bought more. So that is why I went into Superdrug. So I've bought another two 
of Tanya Burr's lipsticks. Not exactly breaking the bank really guys because they're only £1.49 each and you know, I'm quite surprised because I, I was expecting there to be like nothing left and there was still quite a bit of products left. It's like is this Tanya Burr why isn't anybody buying the products peculiar but anyway I've grabbed another two of uh, lipsticks and I've picked up the shades I can't read Apple Ever After which is like a pink shade I would have liked to have checked it while I was in the shop but there was no test there so I hope it's not like a shocking pink right pink kind of shade because I don't I don't do I don't do I don't do pink lipsticks like that. I just no. no. And the other one I picked up is called I can't read it honestly. That's a bit of a can now. Big Kiss. And it's looking like it's gonna be quite a dark pinky red shade. Shall we open them up guys and have a look at them? Why not? I mean they're gonna get opened anyway. Let's open this one first, which is the Apple Ever After. Oh, it's not that bad. You see that? It's more like a coral pink. It's doing a swatch on the back of the hand. Yeah. That would be a nice colour for the summer. That's quite nice. I like that. Yeah, that's, that's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Thank goodness for that. And let's open up this one next, which is the big kiss. Come on, where are you? Don't be a Fort Knox job. Ah! Come on. Ooh. Now that's my kind of colour. As I said, it's quite a dark red. Do another swatch. so creamy here you go guys it's like a fuchsia red shade do like that indeed and that's all i got from super drug and it all came to two pounds 98 so yeah not bad at all why was there a saving 50p oh because i was given a free magazine it's just super drug's own magazine it's called dare I suppose it's just got all sorts of stuff in it. I don't know. I'll have a look at it tonight when I'm on my time to come just book us off out with a friend. I know she's got a boyfriend. I just know she has. Mother knows everything. She does. And I know his name's Jack as well. Don't ask me how I found this out. Okay, I'll tell you. A little bit of stalking on our Instagram page. That's what, guys. So, guys, that's everything I've got in town. So, um, I'm just going to kick back for now. Drink my cup of tea. Chill out, because it's now ten to five. Jess finishes work in ten minutes. She probably won't be home until at least ten to six, and then I'll start doing dinner. Obviously, I will show you what we're having for dinner tonight. In fact, I will tell you what we're having for dinner tonight. We're having dolphin noir potato, hunter's chicken, and cauliflower and broccoli cheese bake. And I'll tell you what, it better turn out better than the dinner we had last night. For dinner last night, I did those cheesy garlic potato wedgies and enchiladas. It was shite. It was the worst meal I've cooked ever. It really, really was foul. And I will not be buying enchiladas again from my staff. They were honestly gross. I will make me freaking own. Just like I did Sunday night for my Sunday dinner because Jess went to a christening. It was a cousin's christening. So there was no point doing the Sunday roast. So I'd, I don't know if you remember me buying it. There was a kit I picked up in Poundland for 50p. And it had tortillas in it and little pastes and stuff like that. And all I had to do was add some chicken and some onions 
and oh my god it was so good so i think next time i go shopping which will be thursday hopefully i'm gonna look for another one of those kits obviously they haven't got to be pound land anymore but asta must do something similar so i'll make our own what it will right i'll see you all in a bit guys tea time tea time indeed the daughter should be home soon What's this usually due about now? I'm quite lucky, the bus stop. It's literally just across the road. Seriously, literally just across the road. I'm not back yet. So, um, this one of the reasons why the camera's facing this way. So I'm just waiting for Jess to get back and hopefully she won't notice that I'm recording. So you'll get to see Miss Grumpy. She might have cheered up, she was grumpy this morning, so hopefully she's had a good day at work, and hopefully she won't know some recording her. <laughs> Unless Barry the bus driver's powered a fast one again, because the last bus back from town is at 20 to 6, so it gets back here for 10 to 10, it takes about 10 minutes to get from town. And there's been a couple of times when Jess has got to the bus stop, and he just doesn't turn up, I think he like, just doesn't bother going back. So usually she has to catch another bus. It kind of like drops her off quite close to home, but not across the road from home. So I'm hoping that's not the case. Well, I'm not hearing a bus. As you can see, I'm having another enough cup of tea. Well, I'm waiting for Madeline to come back. And I've just had one of those Gray's raspberry oat bars. Or should I say squares? Oh, oh my goodness. It was gorgeous, absolutely yum. I had to force myself to kind of like nibble at them and not like <laughs> one go because they're expensive. I can't do that. This must be a treat. I just wanted to try one out and oh, honestly, guys, so friggin' nice. But it's kind of obvious to me that although the product itself is really nice, you are paying for the packaging and it's nice that it comes in that cardboardy kind of box and. This is what they actually come in. That thing there. It's just, I don't know. Paper. I suppose it beats being plastic. Eco goodness and all that. Um, yeah, it's nearly six o'clock, so I'm getting a little bit concerned that Barry, the bus driver, has done it again. And she's coming back on the other one. Oh, I can hear the bus. So, I reckon she's going to come through in a minute. She is here. Here she is, she's coming through the front door. Hello. Hi. You all right? Hey. You can do dinner, but I might not be here for you, for it. I'm not sure. Why? Right. I might go out. Why? Oh. Not sure yet, though. Do you want to start doing it now? What's your name? My name is I've got you some more nuts to replace the other ones. You should make me feel very guilty. Well, you could just say, like, Jeff's going to have your nuts. You weren't here. What, what does this do, Mum? Text people? True. Well, I, anyway, I, I've got you some more. Just annoys me because you don't ask. That was minging. Absolutely minging. I don't know what's wrong with you. It's the most sourest thing ever. I don't understand what happened to it because when I made it last night, I could taste the banana and the papaya coming through right and it now. tasted really nice. When I drank mine earlier, I thought it was very sour. It's horrific. And it was like the kiwi. gone off. The come through. Not fermented. <laughs> I was like, Ugh. It wasn't, it wasn't a wizard. I haven't got salad to try it as well. I was like, I'm not just saying, is it true? Like, no, Jess, that's awful. <laughs> Apologies to you, Mum, but I was like, no, it is awful. Just so it's not me that's thinking it's awful. I picked your, I know that you've already got the green tie on in there, but I need to pick this up for you. Yeah. It's it's Fire cracker chicken, three feet rice. Oh, I love that. I can eat it too, Mum. I can eat it too, Mum. I had to tolerate standing by the most smelliest woman on the planet. Oh, don't you should have seen me got on the bus earlier? Oh, I literally look like homeless people. <laughs> I mean, we're never so late, though. 
So it would appear, it may just be for dinner for one tonight. I'll cook it anyway, if she, even if she does go out. I'll just top it up for and she can take it to lunch. Take it for lunch at some point. Oh well, never mind. I'm looking forward to my dinner. I am. So I'm um, Miss Grumpy, she's home. And now I'm going to cook dinner. I will, of course, show you when it's cooked, what it looks like. I'm not, I'll try and make it look all pretty and presentable for you. And um, I'm just going to finish off my cup of tea now, watch some YouTube videos, and I'll be back when dinner is done. Okay, so that's dinner served. Steaming hot. That's the uh, broccoli and cauliflower cheese. Done from the noir potato. And the hunter's chicken. Jessie's going out to eat, so I've popped hers in a tub and left it on the side to cool down. I'm now going to go and eat this, get it in my tum tum, watch some telly, and I will be back in a bit with a belly full of food. Okay, so it's what, half past seven in the evening now. Obviously, I've had my dinner. Currently watching the TV. EastEnders has just started. I am addicted to soaps. I have to watch my soaps. So, just basically checking in very briefly, so then I can go back in there and watch EastEnders. And Tuesday nights are normally quite good on the TV. After EastEnders, you've got Holby City, which I love, I love, and also The Flash, but that's being recorded. So i am probably watch that much later on tonight. So, as I, as I said, I'm just going to go and pop back in the living room. Watch me standers. Just fit back to bum bum down there. She's she's filling her face. Makeup is all covered from the spot. It looks really bad now. I'll be back in a bit. Oh well, it's nine o'clock now and um just finished watching Holby City. Oh what a cliffhanger. Is Rick going to be seen as guilty or not guilty? But what is the question? And oh, we won't find out now until next week. Mm. So, mm, obviously I've been chilling out watching the TV for a good few hours. And I don't think I'm going to be wearing much else now. I'm going to get my PJs on, get my muck off my face, put some spot cream on it. Harold here. I decided to name it and I thought Harold was appropriate for some reason. So yeah, I'm going to get my PJs on, take my makeup off, put some spot cream on that. And I'm just going to kick back now for the rest of the night, watch The Flash, give me cat a love. And that's about it. My, my fun life, guys. Thank you, anyway, for spending the day with me, if you do. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And one day, you never know. 
I may actually do something exciting with my life. Yeah. <laughs> right, as usual guys, if you enjoyed it, give this video a thumbs up. If there's anything you want to say, leave your comments down below. And uh, that's it for me today guys. Starting to get a little bit tired as well. Hence the yawn. Gosh. Um so what else have we got planned for this week? First day I'm more than likely doing the Asta Weekly shop, so I'll do a haul for that. Got my ghost story coming. And on as usual on Sunday I'll do my weekly catch up with you. So that's it guys. Thank you again for watching. You take care. I'm off now. Bye.